Hello everyone, this is Dr. Charlie Johnson, uh, and today I'm going to share with you a self-movement test that you can do in the comfort of your own home to determine if you have a pinched nerve that is causing your neck uh, and arm pain, numbness, tingling, shooting, or burning. Uh, in one of my last videos, I asked you a few questions. If you didn't um, check it out, you can check it out now. You can find it on my channel. Um, but it was a self-Q&A to determine if a pinched nerve was causing your symptoms. So I asked you three big questions. I wanted to know, number one, um, do you have pain in the neck uh, going down the arm that goes below the level of the elbow. Um, I asked you, number two, do you have shoulder blade pain? Because we know that many times people with a pinched nerve in the neck will also have pain in their shoulder blade region. Uh, and I asked you if you had numbness or tingling. So if you had uh, all three of those and you said yes to all three of those questions and you've gotten to this point, I'm going to share with you, as promised, a self-movement test to further help you determine if a pinched nerve is the cause of your symptoms. So I'm going to walk you one through, uh, one by one through these uh, tests that you can do in the comfort of your own home. So the first test uh, is a different color, and I'll get to that in a moment, but it's probably the most important test. It's called the arm tension test. So um, let me show you how to do that. So to do the arm tension test, let's just say, for example, your right arm was your painful arm and your left arm was your non-painful arm. Um, what I want you to do is I always want you to do these tests uh, golden rule number one on the non-painful side. So this way you can kind of get a sense of what it feels like. So first things first, the arm tension test. Uh, big test number one is going to be to raise your arm up, the non-painful side again, right in front of you. Slowly extend the wrist of the non-painful arm and kind of swim it out to the side as far as you can comfortably go. Okay, now you notice I can um, perform the movement without any problems. There's no pain, perhaps only a little bit of stretch in the form or in uh, the chest uh, is considered to be normal, but really doesn't cause any pain or problems and the motion is pretty free. Now, compare that to your painful side, same thing, up in front, slowly extend the wrist. Now, if by the time you extend your wrist, you start to feel symptoms going down into the arm or increased symptoms anywhere along the path of the nerve throughout the arm or even in the neck, stop. Um, that denotes what we call a positive test, and I'll go into that in a minute. Um, but the test reproduces your symptoms, so no need to go any further. If it does not, continue to extend the wrist um, and slowly swim out the right arm, just like you did on the other side. Now you might notice you get to a certain point where you have pain, numbness, tingling, burning, or shooting in the arm, um, and or increased pain in the neck, um, and it just doesn't go as far. So um, there's definitely a different side to side and or it reproduces your symptoms. Um, that is the arm tension test. So if you don't, if it's not able to go as far as the other side and or again, it causes you pain, um, then what I want you to do at home, you can lay it out just like I have here. You can put the four tests and then kind of put a line. I just want you to put a plus sign or a minus sign. And we'll talk about again, what this might look like if you have a pinched nerve at the very end of the video. So uh, again, if you have reduced uh, motion, like you can't go through the motion as well on the painful side and or uh, it causes your pain or complaints going down the arm or in the neck and put a little plus sign next to it. Okay, now, if on either side there's no problem, meaning on your painful side you didn't have any problem doing this, and in, on your non-painful side, obviously there was no problem doing this, then stop. This test is so good at determining if your nerve is irritated or compressed um, that there's really no need to go further. So, uh, again, if you don't have a plus sign, um, the other thing you could write if this test was perfectly fine is you could just write a minus sign. Um, you know, but if you don't have a plus sign here and you have a minus sign here, stop. If the test was perfectly fine, stop. Uh, there's likely nothing wrong with your nerve, uh, and a pinched nerve is likely not the cause of your symptoms in your arm. So further uh, testing may be warranted. So, okay, but all things said, you're here for a reason. So the arm tension test is... Um, a plus sign is positive, it caused you a problem. The next test is called the compression test. So again, we do things towards the non-painful side to start. So what you're gonna do is if your left side again is the good side, you're going to tilt your head to the left and you can provide, if you need to, a little bit of pressure um, with the hand, but I would say just tilting should be enough and even just rotating a little bit. So you're gonna tilt and rotate the head to the left Again, this is towards your non-painful side. You're going to hold it there for up to about 30 seconds, maybe a minute, but probably 30 seconds should be enough. And relax. Again, shouldn't be much of a problem. 
um, and it should not reproduce any symptoms going down the arm, likely. So same thing, you're gonna do it to the right side now, which is, you know, in this instance, the painful side. So go ahead and tilt and kind of look almost as if you're looking over the shoulder a little bit. You're gonna hold it there. Again, 30 seconds to a minute, okay? With this compression test, the compression test is positive, okay? Again, put that on your little diagram. Um, if it reproduces uh, significant neck pain and or it goes sends symptoms all the way down the arm. Really we're looking for um, probably the onset of some numbness and tingling um, down the arm and even into the fingers if you um, in order to really tell if you have a pinched nerve. So that's the compression test. Finally the head turning test is or not finally the third test uh, is the head turning test so again you're going to perform this to the non-painful side so in order to perform this turn to the left the good side as far as you can. Might just hold it there for a couple seconds. Again, should be full motion and really no pain at all. Okay, so turn to the right now for the head turning test. Hold it there for just a couple seconds. And the biggest thing we're looking for here is the fact that you cannot turn as far to the painful side when compared to the non-painful side. Um, and it may, it may even reproduce your neck and or arm pain slash symptoms. So um, again, we're looking for reduced ability to turn your head. So if it's hard to turn your head to the painful side, then you put another positive. Probably the best test of the day as far as providing you relief is the relief test. So in order to perform the relief test, what I want you to do um, is instead of bending the head towards is in the compression test, I want you to tilt the head away from the painful side, okay? Do not tilt the head towards, you will just be kind of going through the compression test again, okay? So if the painful side is the right side and you have numbness and tingling into the hand, what I want you to do is I want you to tilt your head away from the painful side. The relief test is away from the painful side and you're actually gonna use your non-painful arm to hold it here, okay? You're gonna hold it here, you can hold it up to a minute and I want you to ask yourself, does this relieve my symptoms? You might notice less numbness and tingling in the hand um, and or maybe some warmth or feels like the arm is kind of coming back to life. So if that's the case, then we put a positive, meaning it was helpful for you, next to the relief test. And if by the end of all this testing, you have four out of four, you have four plus signs next to each of these tests, um, then I'm starting to believe that a pinched nerve is a likely cause of your neck um, arm pain, numbness, tingling, whatever it may be. So um, if you got something out of this test or you have any questions um, or maybe you, know, you weren't sure exactly how to do the test um, even after I had explained it, just leave a comment below. Uh, I'd love to hear from you and get back to you because what we'll see is that there are many causes um, for neck, uh, neck pain as well as numbness, tingling going down the arm, a pinched nerve being one of them. So thanks so much everyone. Comment below or like. Take care.